you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we make a Lord of the Rings show. That's a recognizable name. It sure is, sir. So all we have to do is spend a bunch of money on the rights, and it's a guaranteed hit. And also make a good show that people will like, presumably. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, no, we'll see how it presumably. goes. Presumably. Amazing. So what happens mm. in this thing? Well, it's going to take place like thousands of years before the Lord of the Rings trilogy, right? right? And we're going to follow Galadriel. <laughs> how people are going to pronounce things the whole time? Numenor. It's pretty distracting. <laughs> what is goth? Saul on oh, no. oh, please stop. Please stop that. <laughs> Sorry. Please. So anyway, Galadriel's <laughs> brother was killed by Sauron <sighs> back in the day, so she's been trying to hunt him down. Okay. And nobody really believes her, but she's still, like, pushing on the search through the snow, risking people's lives, being real mean to everyone, yeah. and they're gonna get attacked by an ice troll. Oh, no. Yeah, this thing's super strong. It's taking out elves, but then Galadriel is so strong, she takes this thing out with no problem <laughs> at all. Oh. Yeah, she's so good, it's not <laughs> even a danger for her. She was never in danger at all. That's kind of... So the main character's never in any danger? Never, because she's so good. <laughs> Not super exciting, actually. Not a danger on her horizon. <laughs> Nothing's a threat for her. All right. Anyway, so the other elves are like, okay, we'll stop putting us in danger, and they put her on a ship mm -hmm. to Valinor. <laughs> stop. So they're basically sending her there to get stop. rid of her. Oh, so what did she do? Well, just as they're getting He's there, done. she decides to jump off the ship into the water. <laughs> Is she planning to swim back to Middle Earth? <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> oh my god, you're serious. She's Galadriel. She can do anything. <laughs> right, right. Okay. And then as she's swimming back, she's gonna come across some shipwreck people, including this one guy, Halbrand. And what's his deal? Yeah. Oh, well, he and Galadriel are gonna kind of team up throughout the season, but then at the end of the season, there's gonna be this big reveal that he's actually Sauron. Yes. So while swimming across an ocean, yes. Galadriel just happened to run into the evil being she's been looking for. I <laughs> Yes, that works. Oh, thank God. So eventually they end up at this place called oh, Numenor. I know what happens there. Well, she tries to convince the Queen Regent to give her a ship to go back to Middle Earth. Oh, she's got That's to do some one. diplomatic relations, oh, huh? God. How does she handle that? With massive disrespect. <laughs> I'm Gilsey, sir. This isn't the Galadriel we know from the Lord no. of the Rings movie. She's still young and immature. Right, okay. Yeah. She's only a couple thousand years old at this point. Well, anyway, also during this season, we're going to follow these little creatures called the Harfoots. <laughs> and they're going to find this really tall, magical man who <laughs> fell from the sky. A tall magical man, huh? Yeah, and he's got a beard and long hair and a long robe. So he's Gandalf. <laughs> No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's definitely Gandalf, though, right? <laughs> okay, well, sir, it's gonna be kind of a big reveal later. Oh, uh, obviously being sort Gandalf of. is tight. It's gonna be a big <laughs> mystery, sir. No, it's not. Okay, so anyway, the Harfoots that are taking care of this tall magic man, they're very not loving and wholesome. Oh, that's nice. Unless you become a minor inconvenience to them, in which case they will leave you to die. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, and also at the beginning of the season, these orcs are gonna be digging <laughs> tunnels. Like, for fun? No, they're <laughs> up to something. Oh. And they're gonna end up attacking this freaking village in the Southlands. Or the village Villagers gonna fight? A lot of them are, yeah, because two or three times per episode, somebody stands up and gives an inspirational speech. <laughs> kind of a lot of speeches. It is a lot of speeches. But what, are we supposed to just stand <laughs> around and not listen to a bunch of speeches? No! <laughs> Today is when we take our stand. What have you been talking about? I don't even know. I've written so many of those. My brain is basically mush at this point. Anyway, this village is going to get massacred by orcs. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, but luckily Galadriel mm -hmm. spent three episodes begging the queen for an army. Yeah. So they sweep in and save the day. How'd they know where and when to show Thank up? You. Shut up. So then Galadriel is going to present that Hallbrand guy That's to the villagers and be like, by the way, this is the king the of the Southland. So they're all like, oh my God, we have a king? That's great. They're all just super happy. They don't have any questions about that. That's right. Why did she say this guy's king anyway? Because he had this little royal emblem thing on him, but he says he got it off a dead guy. That's pretty suspicious. <laughs> no, it's not. So everyone's on board with him being king. All right. Anyway, then this bad villager <laughs> dude is going to shove this magical mm -hmm. sword into a giant Rube Goldberg machine that breaks a dam that fills up the orc tunnels with water, which makes a big volcano go off. What? <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. I d Why is that a thing? And then freaking volcanic <laughs> ash just what? swoops down and covers up the village and Galadriel <laughs> just stands there. Man, it's gonna be tough for people to survive that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Yeah. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, all the important characters just kind of survive. They do get covered in ash, let me tell you. They're very dirty, very let me tell dirty you. people. Got a lot of cleanup they gotta do. Pyroplastic flow is almost 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, no, right, that's pretty hot. I should mention that queen lady does go blind. Oh, I guess her eyes were open. I guess so. So she's like, I don't want people to know 
that I'm blind. So she puts a big red cloth over her eyes. <laughs> Smooth move. Yeah, that'll do it. Anyway, so then it turns out that that was the birth of Mordor. Oh, how are we going to oh show that? The on-screen title is going right. to change to Mordor. That works. Oh, and another <laughs> thing that's going on throughout the season is that Elrond, he's from the Matrix movies. That's kind of correct, sir. Anyway, he's trying to get some info out of his dwarf friend, this guy Prince Durin. And what's he trying to get? Oh, he's trying to find out what the dwarves are mining, and it turns out it's this stuff called Mithril. Okay. But Durin makes Elrond take an oath that he's not going to tell anyone about this. Yeah, sounds pretty serious. Yeah, very serious. But then Elrond's boss is going to be like, hey, are they mining that stuff? And he's going to be like, I can't tell you. I took an oath. I mean, that pretty much confirms it, doesn't it? Oh, 100%. Yeah, yes. it does. Anyway, the elves need this stuff or they're going to die. Why? Because they'll die if they don't get it. Oh, all right. So then they get a little <laughs> piece it. of it and they want to make it into some rings. Oh, boy. Very important little circle. <laughs> and Elrond's going to suggest to Celebrimbor, one of the best craftsmen in the world, that he could combine some metals together to make the stuff stronger. He's the best in the world and he hadn't thought of that. That's what we're going with. Well, okay then. So then they make the rings of power. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, wow, wow. In the last wow. episode. And then Galadriel's gonna figure out that that guy is Sauron and confront him. Oh, so he kills her? He kind of yells and takes <laughs> off to Mordor, actually. Why? <laughs> For season two, I guess. I don't know. Got it. Oh, and those little Harfoots are finally <laughs> gonna get confirmation that the tall stranger is good. How do they find that out? He's gonna be like, I am good. <laughs> That'll do it. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do that's you think? Well, I have to say, it's a <laughs> very recognizable <laughs> Sure is, sir. <laughs> so let's just make sure we make it in a way everybody's gonna love. Uh. Absolutely, sir. Oh my god. Or we just throw a bunch of money at it and hope it works out. <laughs> oh, that sounds easier. Let's do that. <laughs> Much easier, actually, yeah. Look, you already know my thoughts on the show, okay? I'm not gonna go into it any further. Check out my Honest Trailer versus another Honest Trailer. Uh, <laughs> Rings of Power versus House of the Dragon. Check that out. Uh, that was actually pretty good. Uh, but the show sucked. I, I didn't care for it. It was very boring. Elrond's thing with the, with the dwarves. Don't even really remember it because it was so boring. Galadriel was just too overpowered in this one. Uh, you know, it's, it just didn't work for me. It's, it was a lot that, that didn't work. And obviously they're trying to do a season two. One person's already left because they want to work on other projects or focus on other characters. I don't know. Uh, but it's <laughs> it's like, okay, this is, it is what it is. Hopefully season two will be better. Like the last scene of season one felt like Lord of the Rings. It felt like it. it like it had the feel, it looked like it. He's walking towards, you know, Mordor, the mountain, and all that. Uh, it felt like the two towers, the end of the two towers when Sam and Frodo are walking with Gollum towards Mordor and you got the music it felt like that and I was like man I, I wish the whole show could have felt like that in some form or factor but it was trying to do its own thing which you know I applaud them for that they tried they put a lot of money into it but now I'm ranting again okay I'm done I'm not talking about it anymore <laughs> you know my thoughts overall check that video out that was up earlier uh thanks for watching if you're a member subscriber watcher appreciate you guys always happy to spend some time with you guys laugh and watch and uh see some new stuff and obviously Pitch Meetings always kills this stuff. So great job, Ryan George. Check out his channel and check out Pitch Meetings channel as well uh, for all the funny videos that he puts together. So see you guys on the next video. Take care and have a great rest of your day.